Hello! We're in the garden this afternoon, just doing a little bit of work. So, what I wanted to talk about was uh, crop rotation. So, right now we're in midsummer, it's uh, towards the end of July, and we're now preparing, um, taking away the stuff that's already grown and already gone to seed in many cases. So, what we have actually here is some of the lettuce you can see right here when we say going to seed sometimes it's called, referred to as bolting what happens is we end up with this big long stem um, and at the very top a seed head so you can see there um, that seed head would go into flower um, and we would then end up with the lettuce seed everywhere but we don't want that so what I've done is I've pulled out all that um, and that's now left me with a blank bed down here you see okay so this bed here was our lettuces um, and now I split this bed in half so what we're doing here we're actually planting some complementary fall or autumn vegetables and those vegetables that we're planting right in that bed are carrots at one end and you can see we've just started to get some uh, little carrot seeds going Right there, you see. So we've had those in a couple of weeks. Uh, and at the other end, um, we've put in some kohlrabi. It's important when we're using our beds in this way that we uh, don't use greens plus greens plus greens. Um, because if you keep using your bed for the same lettuce, 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 those lettuces are just gonna take away all the goodness from the soil and with the abundance of plants that we have here in the garden and the abundance of different vegetables we can actually grow many different things in this very compact area we're doing a lot of stuff right here and we only have a space that's really um, not even the length of, length of a cricket wicket uh, it's only about 18 yards long so you know um, yeah it's a little bit wider than than the average cricket wicket but it's uh, uh, 10 yards wide so we're carrying quite a lot into here and the way we can do that is by getting two sets of um, autumn vegetables and s summer vegetables so our summer veg um, has gone lettuces are done swiss chards coming and almost gone um, we get to reuse those beds and that's really important so what we're going to do uh, when the swiss chard goes we're going to put some root vegetables in there too for the winter because the root veg will actually lay under the ground and actually keep maturing there really through November. So that gives us an extended season. Another thing that we can do in this really hot weather that we're experiencing right now, something that goes really fast, and this is a favorite of mine, is this. This beautiful thing here is called Malabar spinach. It's got really rubbery leaves. It's not a true spinach, but it tastes like spinach. It's actually an oriental, um, not very frost hardy at all. But the beautiful thing is, just like regular spinach, this thing grows very fast and it grows vertically, so it climbs. That's a big difference because I wanna show you over here, I put in some regular spinach three weeks ago and we can see regular spinach this is, and this is a Bloomingsdale long standing, is becoming very insipid looking. It doesn't like the heat, and that's what we end up with, okay? So that's why we've got to start thinking at this time of year for things that we'll harvest in September, October, November, but also things that we can grow quickly that like the heat. So there we are. Keep your rotation looking good. Um, keep the, that helps keep the nutrients in the soil and grow things that really like the heat at this time of year. Toodaloo, I'll see you all later.